Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of A Pizza My Heart. Today we're going to do, I guess uh, it's kind of like dinner in a movie as well because we're doing something that is TV themed. I'm, I'm calling it TV, the cable, same thing, right? So basically today we are going to try Surfer Boy Pizza. Now Surfer Boy, if you're familiar with it, is the pizza shop that Argyle works at from the TV show, Stranger Things. It is a TV show, right? I mean, you watch it on TV or you watch it on your little phone. Anyways, it's the pizza shop from Stranger Things. So obviously this pizza shop doesn't exist. So let's find out who actually makes this. So apparently this pizza is from Palermo's. Uh, where is Palermo's located? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if I should trust a pizza from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So. If you remember the show, Argyle was on the phone with a customer and he was talking about pineapple on pizza and he was getting in an argument with them. And so I decided they had different ones, but this one is def had definitely has pineapple on it. I decided to try this. Now what's unusual is that it's pineapple and jalapeno. So it's not a Hawaiian pizza, which would be uh, ham and pineapple. This is pineapple and jalapeno. So I thought that was a little bit unusual and I thought I would try that. Now, I, I will say, full disclosure, uh, or the caveat is that it's pineapple and mild jalapenos. So I don't know what the deal is with that mild jalapenos, but you know, it kind of is what it is. Now, I don't have great hopes for this. A, because usually stuff with a product tie-in isn't that great. And B, it's a frozen pizza. And how good can a frozen pizza be? I think like the best frozen pizza is, you know, never quite as good as even a mediocre, you know, hot pizza. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of things at play here. Like for instance, the ingredients aren't fresh. We're not making this in an 800 degree oven or stone oven or anything like that. So, um, so yeah, it's just not gonna compare, but maybe it's good. Maybe, maybe they decided to, uh, to make this thing pretty good. So we are gonna try, it, it, it can't be any worse than, you know that guy that reviews pizza that put his name on a pizza? And you're supposed to know after one bite whether it's good or not. And apparently his was mediocre after one bite, but he put his name on the pizza anyways. So hopefully it won't be like that. I was really disappointed in that one, but we're gonna try this one. Serve for white pizza, let's uh, have a look at it. I don't know if we can tell how good it is just by how it looks. But let's give it a shot. So we have the oven up to 400. Ooh. We have the oven up to 425 degrees. And if you hear that, that kind of hum in the background, it's because the air conditioner is on because it's like 90 something degrees outside. I have the, the oven on at 425 degrees and I don't just feel like being a ball of sweat. So, you know, unfortunately we're just gonna have to deal with it. Here's the pizza. Wow, that's bright. That is some bright pineapple and, um, and sort of uh, look like fresh frozen jalapenos. They don't look like pickled jalapenos or anything. Just have a look at that. All right, so the, ins the instructions tell us, ooh, there's a, looks like little holes in that. The instructions tell us that um, we need to preheat, preheat oven to 425, which we've done, place frozen pizza directly on center rack, which we'll do, and bake for 20, 20, 20 to 22 minutes, which we'll do. Uh, enjoy your very own Surfer Boy Pizza from the new season of Netflix's Stranger Things. Go on a totally rad flavor adventure that will make it feel like your slices were delivered hot to your door. Each mouth-watering variety contains rich tomato sauce, delicious mozzarella cheese, and a gnarly range of toppings. The thick crust is crispy on the outside and airy on the inside. You'll think it was hand-tossed by the Surfer Boy dudes themselves. Throw a pie in the oven and buckle up your taste buds, brochachos. All right, whatever. And then it says, you've got to see it to believe it. And it looks like these are like glasses that you can, I don't know that they do anything. I think it's just like, you can tear that off and you can see the pizza that's inside it, but it's kind of dumb. So again, I don't have great hopes, but, but I say try before you deny. So I'm gonna get this in the oven and we'll be right back with you. Alrighty, hot out of the oven. I thought I would be funny and put it back in the box. So the box is hot. We'll peel off the little glasses and see the pizza. And it looks all right. Here, let's put it on this. There we go. I don't know. It 
didn't look like really appetizing. That's just me. I mean, yeah, it's just kind of, I don't know. All right, so we're going to try this now. One bite, everybody knows the rules. In the words of Harrison Ford, I got a bad feeling about this. All right, so we're gonna try a piece just like it is, and then we're gonna dress it up a little bit. Let's see, uh, yeah, let's do this. I am gonna knock something over and break something. I'm not proud of myself, but that's how I roll. All right, the crust looks a little doughy. Part of it looks crunchy and done, and the other, this part here looks kind of a little doughy. So I've got some stuff to dress it up just in case. We're gonna try it just by itself, just a piece by itself. Let's see what we think here. All right, here we go. Stranger Things, Surfer Boy, pineapple, and mild jalapeno pizza. It's kind of soupy. It's a little bit runny. The dough It needs some salt, maybe even a little bit of sugar. Because it just tastes like, it's like crackers. Now, I should have a reasonable expectation because this is frozen pizza. And again, they've lent their name to it. I'm sure the people who do Stranger Things didn't actually make this pizza. Um, it's like, it's like stale bread crust on the outside. So it's hard on the outside. It's kind of soggy in the middle and a little bit soupy. So that cheese doesn't pull, it just, you know, I don't know what kind of cheese they put on it, but the cheese doesn't pull at all. It's almost like liquid. It don't remind me of something, like some kind of bread. Not a lot like pizza dough, though. I don't know. By itself, I'm gonna give this, uh, not horrible, it's not great. Not even, it doesn't even aspire to be great. I'm gonna give that a thumbs in the middle trending downward. So it's not even a thumbs down trending upward, it's trending downward. It's a thumbs in the middle trending downward. That's what that's gonna get. It's not horrible, it doesn't make me recoil on horror, and just, you know, disgusting but it ain't great. So yeah, you're, you're just paying for the name and uh, it wasn't that expensive, but still you're just paying for the name and it's just not great. So I'm gonna dress it up. So I've got some grated cheese. Let's put some grated cheese on there. Also the, you know, I kind of like, the jalapeno is not, you know, crispy. So it looked fresh when it was frozen, but now it's kind of like, you know, I don't know, soggy, is that the right word? And the pineapple, you know, you would think that it would have like a lot of like that sharp kind of acidic pineapple flavor, and that's even subtle. So I'm gonna put some black pepper on there. Trader Joe's smoked ghost chilies. Yeah, that ought to, that ought to pep it up a little bit and some bacon pieces. I shouldn't, ooh, that smells nice. I shouldn't have to do this. There we go. All right. 
So, here it is dressed up. Let's give this a shot. No. The ghost pepper chilies makes it spicy, makes it hot and spicy. The bacon adds a little bit of nice flavor to it. But the palette, the underlying palette here that we're painting on is kind of bland. Now, we knew that the jalapenos were mild because they told us they were mild. I don't know. I think there's much, much better uh, frozen pizzas. This is just kind of a novelty. I don't like that soupiness at all. Dressing it up just improves it a tiny little bit. Still gonna get that same rating in the middle, trending downward. Yeah, that's just what it's gonna be. So, try before you deny. I'm denying. So yeah, not, not a big fan of it. If you wanna try it, maybe you think, you know, your conditions in your oven are better, and it might come up better or something. Give it a try. I'm not recommending it. But either way, I think I got this at Walmart. So uh, you can try to see if you got this at Walmart. I think this, there's, there's better frozen pizzas out there. I think like Tombstone's better. I think um, Screaming Sicilian is better. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. It's a novelty and it's just not worth it. But if you want to get it out and try it, go ahead. Just remember that it's crazy out there. So please be careful. Take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.